The following variation of Flossies addresses an alternate way to install the floss. And this still uses the innovative floss tensioning reed that you easily press down and that was used previously with floss segments that were introduced as a, an innovation in the design. This uses a far more familiar method standard off-the-shelf floss. And in a manner that we're all familiar with, you know, a certain length of floss is dispensed and wrapped around what I call the floss anchor. And we've all done this countless times. And wrapping around the tines and back around the floss anchor. And in this instance, we're allowing a little slack initially because when we eventually floss, it will be preferable to have uh, a little slack for reasons I'll explain. And initially, it's preferable to have tension to slip it past the tight gaps between the teeth. And in the manner as shown previously, one easily just presses down on the floss anchor establishing tension and then easily letting go to, to reestablish uh, a more slack uh, floss. And this again is to wrap uh, more in more closer conformance to the curvature of the tooth, which we'll use this to illustrate. And it's important to note that it's been stated that high tension is preferable when flossing, at least in, in the respect that it bears down harder on the tooth to do a more thorough scrubbing job. Although just having a, a rigid linear shape is not desirable because you doesn't get in contact with uh, much of the tooth surface. While if it's slack, it allows you to press against the tooth and the floss becomes more closely in conformance with, with the surface area of the tooth to do a more thorough scrubbing job and simultaneously uh, you are reestablishing tension. Only now, again, you're having a closer conformance to the surface of the tooth and in, the floss is in contact with a greater surface area of the tooth for a more thorough cleaning job. So this variation addresses three uh, basic issues in no particular order. Uh, there is user experience. This allows the end user a more familiar way to load the floss. And from a marketing standpoint, it allows a more incremental uh, marketing approach that the first innovation, the floss tensioning read, can be introduced in this generation. And you can hold off on the floss segment for until another next generation and again allowing a more familiar experience for the end user and then in a more broader sense in production uh, issues we note that the floss reed in its construction requires removal of material and this uses less raw materials and will in fact reduce the overall production cost so that this innovation actually can reduce the cost and you have a product that can provide added value while offering a lower production cost to begin with. In the previous video we showed how floss ease can be adapted to use conventional off-the-shelf floss with a traditional floss anchor, you know, wrapping the floss around and, and still using the real-time adjustable floss tensioning from the flexible reed. In this prototype, the, the original handle was modified to accommodate the mechanism. In the most recent prototype, we've been able to incorporate the mechanism of the adjustable floss reed within the original contours of the off-the-shelf uh, floss holder. So this allows for the existing mold to be slightly modified to incorporate this added feature and benefit. And again, it still uh, has the uh, tensioning ability where it's fairly loose without pressing down and then by pressing down you increase the tension again to pass through the tight gaps of the teeth initially and then allowing for more flexibility during use.